good getting internet. We're back. If you saw episode zero where I created my party, I'm exactly where we left off. If you have not seen it, what you see on the screen right now is going to be the party that I'll be playing through for Might Magic 7 for Blood and Honor. Might Magic 7 is my favorite game of the series, by the way, but it's also not as replayable as Might Magic 6. So you'll notice that I won't be quite as much of an expert in Might Magic 7 as I was with Might Magic 6, but I still know quite a bit. A um, little bit of other housekeeping for those of you that did not watch the previous episode. I'm going to be playing through. I'm not necessarily going to have an episode daily. I'm probably going to be somewhere between three and seven episodes a week. I, it depends on timing and so on, because I can't really devote that much time to this game. Uh, and I'm going to try to keep a queue, basically. So usually when you see a recording of this, I'm actually recording three episodes ahead. At the time of this recording, that's only the day... Uh, probably two days before release or three days or something like that. I haven't decided when this video is going to be released, but anyway, this is the same day as I record episode zero. So um, I'm aiming for three times a week. So actually, that would mean that I'd be releasing this episode probably Friday morning. Um, episodes will be released at 11 a.m. Central Time, you, Central and uh, Central U.S. Time, I should say. So you can figure out time zones from there, but. I don't think there's anybody really anxiously waiting for my next episode or anything. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to do three episodes a week until I have a large enough queue. Once I have a large enough queue, I may increase that so I don't go too far ahead. I'm going to try to make sure I'm no more than four recorded episodes ahead at any one time. So yeah, I believe that's it. Oh, um, if you'll notice that this ep these episodes are being recorded at 1080p rather than 1440p. Really, there wasn't a reason why I recorded at 1440p. That's just the height of my monitor. Uh, it's still the height of my monitor, but I'm downscaling a bit down to 1080p just so the file sizes are a little bit smaller. So it's 1080p60. Hopefully everything will be fine with that. If not, I can always bump it back up to 1440p. I think that's it. So here's our party. Time to let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. You'll notice there's a lot more in the way of FMVs this game. Bling! Hmm. Hear ye, hear ye. The Emerald Island scavenger hunt is about to begin. The list of objects has been given to all contestants. As you know, the winners of the contest will be... Don't mind the tail. ...to Castle Harmony and the surrounding lands. Careful, Emerald Island can be dangerous. Last night, three contestants disappeared, and we are concerned for their safety. During the contest, please be on the lookout for our missing contestants. If you find a piece of equipment in the woods, return at once with the clue. It may save do, their do, lives. Do. There have been rumors that some kind of monster is loose on the island <gasps> may be hiding in one of the caves. If you see a cave you are unfamiliar with, don't go into it. Blonk. Back to town, That's long since dead. For you. Whatever. Don't want anyone else to get hurt. And one more thing. <clears throat> uh, we have... Uh, <laughs> sorry. Hi. Uh, we have reports that the monster may be a dragon. Hi. So, this is Might and Magic 7. Um, we are at Emerald Island. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, you'll notice that I have somebody in my party already. This is Margaret the Docent. Um, she's a tour guide. Uh, my previous Let's Play that I did through and ended up stopping because it was really hard to write down everything because I wasn't using video. Um, I played as Margaret. It was kind of funny. I really enjoyed that, actually. I'm going to just turn off the tour guide so she doesn't constantly talk. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of things I want to mention. Uh, first off, this is a tutorial island. They actually have a tutorial in this game. So one of the biggest complaints about my Magic 6, both then and now, is that it has a really steep learning curve to start. I, I made it look really easy when I was playing. It's not actually that easy of a game to start. If any of you that may have started playing after watching me play and had never played before probably died several dozen times in the New Serpical area. Yeah, 
So that's why there's a tutorial island here. Unfortunately, they still didn't make it that easy on the tutorial island. Uh, it's just that you can't leave the tutorial island until you're done with this part of the mainline quest. You heard from the opening that there was a dragon on the island. There totally is, and I will in fact be killing it. That's kind of my welcome to my magic seven, let me go kill a dragon moment. Uh, but I'm not going to do that right away because I need bows on everybody before I can kill the dragon. And the dragon will be its own episode. Might be episode two, maybe episode three or four. I'm not sure which now. Anyway, uh, the other thing I wanted to show you, uh, let me actually go up here. Disable Might Magic 6. So you remember how um, Might Magic 6, Disable Might Magic 7, uh, Might Magic 6's world map was very squarish. This is the world map of Arathia. This is the world map for Might Magic 7. Um, this is actually a very large image for reference. I'm going to expand it out a little bit and you can see. We start on this teeny tiny little island. Of course, I can't undo. Um, so yeah, we start on this teeny tiny little island in the middle of nowhere. The rest of this is Arathia. Arathia is actually a fairly large continent. It's significantly larger than Enroth. Well, Enroth's the world the continent is. I can't remember the name of the continent for Enroth now. But anyway, this is the, our world map, basically. And we will be going everywhere so i just wanted to show what the world map looked like because it's <sighs> well i'll point out when we start traveling places you'll notice that it used to be in might magic 6 when you map crossed it was hey look you go north you hit this map you go west you hit this map you go northwest you hit this map that's not quite the same way in might magic 6 or in might magic 7 so let me put back up that, oh, that actually kind of fits rather well. Hmm. And get rid of the map, and there we go. So, I have things set up generally the same way that I did for Might Magic 6. And the first thing we're going to do is try to find a scholar. You'll notice that the graphics look very different now, and right-clicking somebody gives you all of these stats that I know nothing about. Pool. The NPCs are not all the same. Oh, right. I'm going to actually have to hold down shift in this case. So, Might Magic 7 actually, and you'll notice some of these are just peasants. All they do is say, good luck in the contest. Um, so, for NPCs, they actually removed all of the useless NPCs in the game. So, anybody that you can talk to has some type of role, even if that role is a hireling. Peasant, Quartermaster, Psychic, Peasant. I'm going to be reloading a lot to get decent starting NPCs because... Oh, wait. I don't have enough money anyway. What, do, what am I doing? It doesn't matter. Um, let's go ahead and equip things. You'll notice that the graphics are different. Also, you'll notice that dwarves are short. Who would have thought? And I really don't like the armor design for my Magic 6. It's quite unfortunate. Uh, did I end... Or in 7. Did I end up... So, when I was going through the test run of this game, I ended up with such ridiculously awesome rings. It was... Re it, I had never seen such things before. This time, I end up with garbage. Learned a new spell. Ah, learned a new spell. So I guess Earth Resistance. Uh, you know what? That's probably better as Cell Bait. Because I need money. keep forgetting. Also, I can't change the order of characters anymore, which is most unfortunate. Um, I learned it. What's with the boob window? Seriously, there's no reason for that. Ugh. Oh yeah, I've got money, basically. And everything else is equipped. Uh, you'll notice that the spell screen looks a bit different now. We've got Firebolt rather than Flame Arrow. Flame Arrow, they got rid of those crappy spells that are useless. Firebolt is now the basic spell for fire magic. Uh, basic attack spell, that is. It does a little bit less damage, but it's also a much cheaper spell, so it's actually a fairly nice spell. Uh, Torchlight. Torchlight's the same as it was before. We've got Wizard Eye. 
Grandmaster version is free. Um, Featherfall is now the second level of air magic. There's no longer an attack spell here. It's probably for the best. Um, we've got Awaken and Poison Spray over here. Poison Spray at the moment is significantly worse than uh, Firebolt, but it won't be for long. Okay. Um, I didn't really find any cheap NPCs. Anything you want. So you'll notice that the armories and so on are a little bit different now. We've got a learn skills button. You can learn things from the armory. I know this is a huge shock. You need more coin, friend. Need more coin, friend. So um, rather than having the guilds that you learn things in, you actually learn things from their equivalent shops. So we can buy stuff. Um. As you can tell, we don't have a merchant skill and we're lay poor. So I'm not really going to be buying much of anything for a while. Hi, I'm Grant. Tor lets me live in the back of his shop just as long as I stay his apprentice. You're contentious in the scavenger hunt? If so, I wouldn't wander off to the dragon cave then. Morkarak doesn't tolerate strangers very well. I didn't realize that was actually his name. There's actually a couple of things I've learned already. I bet that the missing people went there thinking his cave was the Appendant Temple. They're probably long dead. I'd watch those other contestants. Some of them seem ruthless. One particularly nasty group headed to the north side of the island, and I haven't seen them since. I'm surprised the attention this contest received. Apparently people are hoping to get on the good side of the contestants for future favors if they win. So, if as you can tell from the opening... We're not soldiers. We're we're just like random people that went, you know what? How about I Sorry, it always distracts me. Hammering on the anvil, there's a delay in the audio. That's actually in the game for reference. That's not the way I'm playing or anything. That's the way it works. Anyway, um we're not soldiers, we're not from Roland's army or anything. We're four hapless adventurers that decided to get on on a scavenger hunt. <coughs> <Yeah. clears throat> ah, my lungs were thirsty. Uh, and the reward is Harmonin Harmondy Castle? For some reason, I never noticed this until I was doing the tests. In the FMV, it says Harmondy Castle. It's Harmondale Castle, for reference. The town name is Harmondale. Harmondale is the equivalent of Usurpical. Only it's, uh, well, it's a lot better lo better located. Anyway, so we can learn things here. We're going to need to learn bow, so we're going to need a thousand gold from that alone. And, well, we've got our quests. Let's take a look at the quests. Current quests. So we need to return a red potion to the judge. Or everything's returning to a judge for reference. Uh, so we need a red potion, a seashell, a longbow, a floor tile, a musical instrument, and a wealthy hat. These are our objectives. Until we get each of these, we cannot leave the island. So. Hey there. Eh, I don't care about you. I'm looking for you, actually. Hey there. Hello, my name is Alyssa. Or, Elsia? We'll go with Alyssa. I'm the bard in charge of overseeing the entertainment on Emerald Island for the duration of the scavenger hunt. Remember when we said about something about needing an instrument? You say you need an instrument for the scavenger hunt? Suppose that you could buy my loot, but I've had it for such a long time. I guess I'll part with it for 500 gold. Interested? So there's multiple ways of doing almost everything here, and that is one of the great things about this particular game. So for instance, um, crap, I need to remember how to steal. Controls, configure keyboard, steal. Great, it's not here at all. So, you have stealing. Is it control click? Yep, it's control click. So, I just stole the loot off of her instead. It doesn't matter how you get the items. What matters is that you get them. So, um, let's see. Oops. I'm trying to remember. Quartermaster. Is it the 
these are for healing and restoration. This is the healer's tent. See? Very different style of animations. I actually prefer the animations in this game. And you can learn skills from here, like merchant. You'll notice that it costs slightly more money, though. It's a little weird. Anyway, we're definitely going to need that. That's probably the first thing we end up getting money-wise. Oh, um... So we can get guild memberships here. Um, as per the regular game, these guild memberships are useful for the entire game. However, in this case, they're just on the island. Um, we're going to need to join those guilds because I would like to actually get money at some point. Good luck in the contest. Pip, pip. Also, the guards don't cause any trouble. You notice, we have guards now. Guards exist in this game. And if you actually have monsters that come by, the guards will actually attack. Which is very useful, because that's going to be one of the ways we kill things. Also, reagent. His grace, Lord Markham, Duke of the Western Lowlands. Lord Markham's a dick. Anyway, so, we've got a loot. Also, our reputation's a negative one from stealing. That's awesome. Uh, reputation doesn't matter anywhere near as much in Might Magic 7 as it does in Might Magic 6, and the reason for that is localized. So if we were to leave Emerald Island, my reputation would be zero wherever I arrive. Or even higher, potentially. So we're going to walk around for a bit, because there's something up here I need to hit. Oh yeah, um, I need to actually make sure that I hit these books. So we now have auto notes that tell us where things were hit, like... There were temporary fire resistance at the central town well on Emerald Island. Obelisks, seer notes, miscellaneous notes, and instructors. We also have our map. This map is a little bit better because you can actually see who people are by right-clicking things. You still can't put pins in the map. Might Magic 8 adds the pins to the map. Might Magic 7 at least at le will tell you what things are. So, like, that's Donna Wirith's residence, which is actually the area that I'm going to, generally. See, Donna lives here with her daughter, Sally. And you know what? This is Sally. You? you know what Sally does? She sells seashells by the seashore. I can buy them for a hundred gold apiece. Or, I was caught stealing. Drat. I haven't saved recently. Huh. But I did this before. It's the only reason why I'm reloading so much. There we go. Yes, you can actually still buy another instrument. You can get multiple copies of everything here. The instrument's useless beyond this. Makes a nice noise, though. Anyway, just gonna run through and do this again. Because I forgot that's the problem with stealing, is that it doesn't always work. I'm just dropping it off because it's useless inventory. And I could totally make that red potion if I actually had an empty potion bottle. I don't. Yep. Anyway, I want to see if I can steal a sea se yeah, steal a seashell. Also, I should actually be picking up these reagents. Too used to having good wizard eye. I stole money. Okay, I cannot steal a seashell. Also, my reputation dropped again. So these are the ruffians that they're referring to. Brent Fillant, a swordsman, and a swordsman. On the plus side, they're actually willing to exchange things. See, they tell you how to make a blue potion by mixing a blue herb. Notice that does not say a specific type of thing. There's multiple types of herbs now. And an empty potion bottle. But he's not sure how to make a red one. Anyway, what I'm actually up here for is up here. And it's not from that. It's this. The Day of the Gods Pedestal. You'll notice that we have little icons on the right side now. 
And Day of the Gods, it's its own spell. It's glorious. I need to recast Wizard Eye. So, in theory, I can steal from Brent and get something. That's what I want to see. I, I've never stolen in this game, basically. I think I need higher stealing skill to be able to steal, though. I'm going to get my butt handed to me if I end up stealing, if I end up fighting them. Although I do have... I'm, I just really want to see what he has. I'm going to do that later. So, there are enemies on this island. And the enemies are obnoxious. Which is what we're going to deal with. These are the types of enemies. They're dragonflies. I only have two archers. This is terrible. You'll notice, however, that there's now a fist closed action. I can move in turn-based combat now. And it is glorious. My controls are very slightly different from my Magic 6. So I'm slightly messing up. Oop. Oh, I must have crappy graphics on. That stinks. Oh. Crappy gra- So, Might Magic 7 and 8 have a slightly revised version of the same engine? Mr. Welwick, I'm going to have to talk to you. How are you this afternoon? He's got a proposal for me. But if I remember right, I can steal something from him? Ugh, I'm gonna really need to just increase my skills. You'll notice that there's no horseshoes here, because there's no stables. So, the only things I can do, or the only skills that I have, are the ones that I start with. Come on, I just want to see what he has. Fine, do it later. Anyway, we've got the Air Magic Guild up here. Fool talking to a chimney sweep, an alchemist over there, and a chaplain. Chaplains are new NPCs. Hey there. Chaplains, uh, I think there was somebody similar who cast Bless at Master Rank. Ah, this is the luck well. And see, it even tells you two points of permanent luck. Every Might Magic game of the more recent ones at least have that and now I have the haste spell up unfortunately I have the haste spell up so my traditional way of handling this is to run into all of those fireflies then run out and let them kill the entire village because monsters will now actually fight peasants you get no penalty for doing this Um, let's set Mind Blast. Okay. Funk. Sillier animation. And you're going to go with... Actually, I think they might have... Yeah, I think they might actually have fire resistance to start. Because I know um, the higher level version of those dragonflies actually have fire attacks. So. I keep trying to hit the old attack button. I'm so slow right now, it's ridiculous. Basically, you need Day of the Gods to be able to survive this place, because the enemies are actually fairly difficult given how low level you are. And it's not really that the enemies are difficult so much as there's a lot of them. Look at how many of them there are. Ow. Funk. Uh, it's a fire dragonfly. 
Is it Queen Dragonfly is the highest level one? Stupid trees in the way. No, it's not. I'm just terrible at accuracy. I forgot. Yeah, what's my accuracy again? Oh, yeah, I... Oh, yeah, it actually tells me my recovery time now, which is nice. My accuracy is positive because of Day of the Gods. And only because of Day of the Gods. <laughs> Dragonflies more like giant mosquitoes, am I right? Ow. Huh. Yeah, I can't tell the difference between the types of enemies in this graphics mode. I might have to go through and edit things to get the correct graphics mode. Because they're supposed to actually be color-coded. Just like they are in uh, Might Magic 6. But you need better graphics to do that. Oh, I'm out of magic. Because of course I am. This won't stop me. Okay, there we go. Keep hitting that. Get him a little closer so I can actually hit things. And I'm out of wizard eye again. Oh, I don't really miss low levels at all. See how many I'm dealing with? I'm actually gonna run. Some may actually end up following me, which is gonna suck. I'm trying not to let the peasants die, they're gonna die. That's the thing I needed to do. So you'll notice that they're actually fighting. Also, Janet the Alchemist is injured. Huh. Oh, and we've lost a peasant. <sighs> Oh well, it's bound to happen. This is the reason why the resurrection spell in this game is actually useful. Or not resurrection, um... Whatchamacallit, um... The reanimate spell, that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, that was easy. Because you can actually bring back peasants that way. But, more importantly, I have money. Oop. Alright, I keep hitting that. Stupid muscle memory. Alas, poor Janet. Oh well, I loot her body. Recast haste, because haste only lasts for... an hour and 17 minutes. It's a weird number, whatever. Okay. Try to see everybody, everybody. Darn it! I keep doing that. Isn't this fun, everybody? Yeah, I miss having the music loop. I think I'm going to have to fix that between episodes. I almost said adventures there. Ah, too many trees. I need to run through the forest. Okay. 
I ran through the wrong way. This has the same problem that my Magic 6 does, which is if they actually die in basically not shallow water, their bodies disappear for absolutely no reason. Because reasons. There we go. That's all the ones I can reach right now. I know there's one more. It's currently stuck inside of that building there. It'd be nice if I actually had more money, but that's okay. Okay, and I believe none of these are... Okay, so we found another seashell. This is the second way of getting a seashell, for reference. Uh, we don't need to identify everything, anything here, for reference. Um, we'll just set that up for distribution later. It's a, the world's worst reagent. We've got some scrolls. Remove fear, telepathy, sparks, and detect life. We can collect scrolls for now. And a crappy cutlass. More poppy snaps. A spiked mace of forced, forced protrusion. Which you are going to have equipped because this is significantly better. Oh, right. You're also our merchant. I keep forgetting. Um, this is 3d3. This is 3d4. Yes. That is better. That's 2d4. That's worse. And I don't have spear skill, so I can't use that right now. That'll do. And here, which is where we have our potion bottles. Now, something I need to mention. So in the previous game, uh, these were the only berries in the game. They were Willow Sweeps berries. You'll notice that they actually have a power ranking now. So what that means is that red potions aren't just it heals 10 hit points, it, it heals something based off of the power. These are power 5, crushed rose petals. Basically it goes up to, I believe, 50 is the highest power for any of these reagents. So eventually we stop collecting these crappy berries and just start collecting good stuff. This also means that red potions are not utter wastes of time. Okay. I thought there was a bow here, too. Did I miss one? Nope. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. Also, I need to recast Wizard Die again. So, we can actually now make our red potion, which we're going to do. So, you'll notice that this heals 10 plus the potion strength. So, this particular potion heals 11 hit points. If I were to make it with this instead, it would heal 15. Your power in the alchemy skill will also increase this, for reference. So, that's how you end up with alchemy potions with 200 plus power. And that's how you cast haste in the game, eventually. So, for those of you who have played Might Magic 7, or for those of you who haven't, haste is a glitched spell in this game. Haste doesn't actually do anything. Hence the reason why my recovery time is so crap actually not that bad hmm. anyway um actually no this should be patched i should have working haste so the game for might magic 7 and 8 they screwed up and the haste the spell does nothing other than tire you out when it's done there's no reason to use it this is the patched version of the game unofficial patch that should have it fixed Prior to the fix, Haste the Potion, on the other hand, actually did something. And it lasts a really long time if you have a good alchemy skill. Uh, in fact, if you have a druid hanging around, you can have Haste last a lot longer as a potion than as a spell. So druids are actually the best buff characters of the game, with one spell as an exception. That one spell being the reason why I need a cleric in this game. Also, that book, blinking book is not blinking properly. Weird. Just letting me know because I had hit the which we'll call it the well. Anyway, I need to pick up merchant before anything else happens. Do you need healing? Merchant. 
Seek knowledge elsewhere, Jessica, the cleric. I can offer you nothing further. Also, I am late tired because I forgot to hit the haste thing again. But I have gear weakness. I let it list last too long. I could just le sleep. Sleep heals weakness too. Anyway, now that I actually have merchant, oh, let me return the two things that I got. I might be able to level up. Uh, you'll notice that I'm going to be leveling up a lot more often in this game. Yep. There we go. And I can level. So the reason why I'm going to be leveling up more often in this game is that you level up, and in Might Magic 6, you love, it took you a week to level up regardless of what you did. So you could be... Need some training? That's the ticket. That's the ticket. That's so it would take you a week regardless of what you did. Uh, where is the... Time? There it is. So it takes you a week regardless of how many times that you level up. In this game, it takes a week per level of the person who's leveling up the most. So there's no longer a reason for me to just sit around and wait for a while to level up. I should level up more often. Um, basically, I level up whenever I have the ability to do so and the money. So I'm going to start running out of money again. So. Uh, huh. I want you to be able to steal. I want you to have not crappy wizard eye. I want you to be able to sell stuff more because I need the money. And you, I want to kill things, but hmm. this will drop recovery time by one per point of skill. And it's all melee weapons, right? Yeah. And this will increase attack bonus, one per point of skill. At expert level, these two are equivalent. Oh, mm, sorry, I'm really sleepy. I did not sleep well last night. And that's just increasing AC. I don't care about AC right now. So I'm gonna hold on to it for now. Because I'm probably going to end up learning some new skills. See anything you want? So I can only learn leather and shield from this place, unfortunately. Which is what that's a very fancy crown. See? I have a merchant now, hooray! Um, studded leather is probably about the best I can find here. But I need to sell stuff. Oh right, you're an armor smith. Uh, I need to go to a weapon shop for that. Let's sell some of this garbage. And I need to learn bow. I will be picking up two more bows eventually. I can actually use the two bows that are here in this game. In this game. In the plot. Anyway. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? They actually have a lot more personality for these merchants in my mind. Oh, you're an alchemist, sorry. Alchemists and magic item shops are now different. So alchemists have Alchemy stuff. These are also recipes for learning how to make stuff. There's no reason to buy recipes. Oh, so the three... And there's four types of reagents in the game, not three. I uh, noticed that I picked up a mushroom earlier. Obsidian does the same thing. Yeah, they make catalysts. So if you use a catalyst on a potion, it will take the power of the catalyst rather than the power of its original thing. So if you have a bunch of crappy herbs, you can use a powerful catalyst and make it better. Otherwise, it has no effect on the potion mixture. And you can see the next step up for yellow. You'll notice that that's bigger. It takes up two inventory slots, which is why Fey Dust is the worst. Uh, also, I don't think you can eat potions anymore. Can I help you with anything? Can I help you with anything? Yes, you can buy my crappy rings. Yes, I know I did sell an enchanted ring. I don't care. Okay. So, I don't want to buy anything. I want bows. I want bows. I need bows because, seriously, I'm so early in the game, I don't have bows on everybody. Okay. Can I even buy two bows? I don't know if they have two bows for sale. Oh, that's right. There's... Nope, it's not that one. It's a different spot. 
There's somewhere that just has like a bucket full of mushrooms for some reason. Uh, those are not bows. Those are bows, though. Ugh. Can't believe I'm buying these, but... Thanks. It's worth it. Um, you're gonna go to him. You're gonna go there. Okay. Now I have bows on everybody, so I can actually do stuff. Um, I got 20 minutes left. Let's go hit some shrines. I'm also going to... That's the spell point one. This is the hit point one. There we go. I'm going to hit the pedestals going around. Um, that well, if I remember correctly, has money if you run out of money. But you have to be at exactly zero money, which is really hard to do. Oh, it's double move. It's again in a different spot. I don't know why they're all in different spots. It's the same maker of the patch. Anyway, so we have cleared out that part of the island. There are no monsters left in this entire zone, by the way. You notice that this is only in the corner of the map? There's nothing in the rest of the zone. It's all just ocean. And you can't even go exploring it normally. Normally. There are some treasure chests around, though. Well, they reset. I forgot. This is at a very quick reset cycle. I'm just going to run. Um, yeah, this place, I think the reset cycle is something like a week. Which makes sense as why when I slept a week passed. Uh, da, 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 da. Because I need more fire resistance. This temple is actually where I need to go. The temple of the moon. Um... I'm going to hit chests on the other side first, though. By the way, how are people? It's been a while since we've spoke. Chandra the Chef. That's right, I can actually hire an NPC now. Uh, scholar? Scholar, please? So when I f was running through this game on my test right before... The very first NPC that I found upon entry was a scholar. This game is just taunting me, by the way. Horned helm, other set of armor, and crappy mushroom. So, you're missing armor. Maybe I should actually just buy you the armor skill right now, now that I actually have armor. That's not the worst idea. And helm. That helm is so terrible looking. Let's go ahead and buy the armor skill. Anything you want? Learn skills. Leather. <coughs> I probably should learn shield as well, but I'm going to wait until I actually have a shield to learn it. Um, what was I doing? I came back. Oh, right. I was looking at chests. That's the one I just looted. Another one over here, isn't there? Nope, that's the wrong way. I don't want everybody to get murdered here again. Don't worry, everybody will get murdered here before I leave. It's inevitable. Yeah, you're just me, huh? Okay. Anyway. Now let's go back up through here. Be a lot easier if I could get up there. Oh, well, I'll just walk around again. We. Up and around, and here we go. Go back to normal speed. Quick save. It doesn't look too bad in here. I really like the music. 
also because of too popular request. Because I actually don't seem to need the torch light. I'm gonna have to recast it a lot though, that's the one downside. You'll notice it's glowing red now. That's the way it was supposed to work in Might Magic 6, and it didn't. Bats. Bats, 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 bats. Actually, I don't know why it's glowing red now that I think about it, because I don't have perception on any character. Nope. It's disarmed. I also don't have Disarm Trap on any, any character. I can't identify it. Yeah, this is where not having a... I don't know. I can't identify that. <sighs> not having a nice um, ID item is going to hurt. Alright. These dungeons are also much smaller than in Might Magic 6. Which is good, because the Might Magic 6 dungeons were a little excessively huge. I, uh, I need a scholar. But I think I'm just going to do this dungeon without one. All of the dungeon without one, that is. And then spiders. These spiders are a lot uglier than the other spiders. I don't know who designed these spiders. What is wrong with you? This won't stop. Ow. Spiders are actually dangerous to me, by the way. This won't stop um, me. The only reason why I'm doing this well is because of Day of the Gods. There's a reason why they give it to you up in the tutorial island. Just saying. Nope, that's just an empty spot on Wizard Eye. Okay. Did it again. I keep hitting the quick uh, the quest button. Oh, you're actually alive still. I can't tell. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. That's a potion. Okay, let's I see. Know. I think that does nothing. But it could do some other things. That is just armor. This also gives plus two air resistance, so that's good to know. Yes, I'm equipping unidentified things because this game doesn't have, um, whatchamacallit, uh, curses. Relics still exist in this game, so you can definitely still get a little screwed over by them. In fact, it's actually possible to die from one of the relics that you can get right in the start of the game. Okay, those don't appear to do anything. They might be of effects that I can't see easily, but they look like they do nothing. Alright, I keep hitting the stupid quest up button. Alright. Torchlight. I can get caught stealing from a spider. How? Oh, you're a boss type. Very subtly different. No problem. Keep hitting the stupid quest button. I found a ring, though. You do anything? Not that I can see. Bats! I was caught stealing. Now my reputation's even lower. Oh, no! My reputation in a dungeon. Like I said, reputation is now based off of what location you're in. That includes dungeons for some reason. 
doesn't appear to do anything. Okay. Right, let's zoom through here. Ten minutes left? Yeah, I think I could probably finish this dungeon. This is not a very long dungeon. Main altar area. Darn it. My kingdom for a fireball spell. Ah, bats. This won't stop me. Ow. Bring on a bigger challenge. Stupid bats. Again. I should probably remap the buttons to just match my magic six. It's a little ridiculous. This is just a firebolt spell for reference, so it's not that much damage if I get hit by it. But as per previous Might Magic games, this game uses reusable tiles. Alright, you are that one. Okay. I don't want to go through there yet. I've got. Oop, speaking of, as getting hit for absolutely no reason. I need to go this way first. See, it's just friendly people, right? Just friendly people. Doing friendly things. Sal Sharktooth. Hello there, friend. May I have a word with you? This temple is a pretty nasty place. You should probably watch your back around here. You never know what might want to kill you. Like these guys. But can I steal from you? This won't stop. No. Not easily. What happens if I try again? Can I steal from anybody ever? I'm thinking that I'm not good enough at stealing to do jack or squat. So basically what ends up happening is that I will open up, find a wealthy hat, take it, loot all the other things because I can. There's actually a decent amount of loot in here. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Sorry, can't tell. Mo money. Sorry, can't tell. Even mo money. Lots of axes. Anyway. So I walk by. Oh. That's not the way that's supposed to happen. Do I have to talk to them? Or get near? Hello again, friend. Your hat, please. See? He will just take the hat from you. why I'm wondering what happens if you steal from them. Anyway, it's still yellow for some reason, which is weird. It should be green right now, because there's nothing else here. Oh, that's right. There is something else here. That explains it. I think there's a rat in here or something dumb. Yep, rats. Killed it. This has the moon tile, which is one of the quest items. Oops. We also get books in here, which is great. Except I already know most of these books. Scroll. 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 And a book. And a torchlight. Dang it. Those books were useless. They always are. Scroll. Scroll. Scroll.
scroll, 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 scroll. You better watch out, punk. Scroll, 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 scroll. And that's it. So that's it for the dungeon. There really isn't anything else here. Um, I can go fight Sal. I kind of... You know what? I'm going to. I've got the time. And I'm going to save it here as well. Because I'm going to see what happens if I get a high enough stealing skill, if I can steal something from Sal. I actually don't know. Again, I've never bothered using stealing. It's not normally worth it. trying to steal from anybody at this point. So, anyway, let me show you what happens with Sal. Uh, no. And now they're aggressive. Ah, what a scratch. Sal is actually fairly dangerous. between those two spells. Yeah. Notice how they just knocked my sorcerer unconscious. Yeah, I might just have to come back here later when I can actually, you know, not die horribly. Or I can just do this. I'm doing a little bit better from having the distance. And Sal has the longbow. I don't know how else to get the longbow. I don't know. But the longbow is what you need for um, other things. Anyway, I'm going to try going without for the time being. So I'm just going to leave the temple. I can always walk back here later. It's not like this takes me much effort to get here. Go run. Run, 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 run. Oops. I went the wrong way. So what happens when I run, 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 run? And gone. Whee! Ow! What a scratch. That one will deal damage to you randomly. Don't know why. I didn't fall that far. Whatever. Alright. And that means... Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to talk with him about the missing contestants. There's a thousand gold reward for the group that bring back information on the contestants that have disappeared. So, that's a thing. And I can level up again. So I'm going to do that. Then save an exit for the next time. I can actually put the points in the skills. So the maximum level fuel that you can get in the island training grounds is five for reference. So there's not really much else you can do beyond five levels of skill points. And there's no expert anything here. So yeah. I'm just trying to see if I can steal anything ever. And I'm leaving that there. Let's see if I can steal from... Uh, where is he at? He's normally... Yep, there he is. This guy. Can I steal from you yet? Oh, it didn't immediately trigger this time. So that's a good sign, right? You just have money. Okay, I can't steal it from you. So, anyway... This guy has a proposal for us. Let me introduce myself. 
My name is Mr. Melwick. Mr. Malwick, Bedwick. Anyway, uh, I represent a group of, shall we say, investors in the future. I've been observing your sense of right on this island, and I believe your values and goals have much in common with my ours. I am empowered to grant you a fireball wand and help free to help you win the hunt today in exchange for a favor in the future. What do you say? So, if you accept, if you decline the wand, no harm, no foul. Nothing bad happens. Nothing happens. Period. If you accept the wand, you get a wand of fireballs. There's nothing else. Yeah, that's not true. So, um, there's a quest later on in the game that he'll ask for your assistance on mm, around midpoint of the game. A little bit past. And... I'm going to accept it even though it's against my better judgment because I want to be able to do all the quests in the game and that's what my objective is. I can't actually do every quest in the game because once you choose a path, there's certain quests that are blocked from you. But every quest possible to do on the light side. So I'm going to accept the wand. And this wand will be very useful. Anyway, I'm just going to see if I can quickly find somebody. Scholar! Hi. Greetings. Hello, Pixie. Don't care, you're mine now. So I can actually identify the crap in my inventory. So these are steel gauntlets. Helps if I actually equip you, doesn't it? See, this is what's bothering me. Look at the difference in armor between armor on a guy, which is badly painted on, and armor on somebody who's a woman. Just, why? That's not the way armor works. <sighs> Sorry, it's one of those pet peeves. Armor does not work that way. Also, what's all of this crap? It's all crap. All of it. Sparks I could use. The rest of this is cell bait. Oh yeah, I just realized I turned in that bow. I usually hold on to the bow until the end because it's a better bow than what else you can find. Oh, that goes to four. Um, this goes to four. Oops, you don't go to four, you go to three. Ugh. Are you serious? Alright. See, it actually takes up a 4x4 four four area. Anyway, I'm at about an hour. I'm just going to quickly organize my inventory and sell some things. I'm not going to do much of anything significant between episodes because most of this is garbage uh, all garbage other than this this is actually useful and the axe is not garbage if I actually had the correct skill but I don't anyway I'm going to sell some stuff. I'll see you next time, Internet. Bye.